Hey, what's up? So today I want to share two habits that all highly successful coaches have that I've been able to help in our consulting program. And these are two things that I know if you are actively doing this within your business, it's really going to help you out. So number one, to me, this is the most important thing. I think for anyone who owns a business, they have to do this every single day. They should take small daily action steps. And before you even take your action steps, you should always know what you are doing. So every night before you go to bed, you always have listed out what are you doing tomorrow. Even if it's something very small, taking a small action step daily gives you the confidence that always keeps the ball rolling and you'll never be stagnant with what you do. But I see a lot of coaches out there they will do a lot in one week and then they'll take a week off or they'll try to work all night and then they're gonna be too tired the next day it's not about doing that it's not about working your face off it's about taking small daily action steps but being organized and know exactly what you are doing daily that is number one the number two thing that i know a lot of coaches have in common when they get to a very successful level is they know exactly who the market is. They know exactly who they are serving. They're not training 500 million different types of players. So to give you a good example, this is a homework exercise you can do today, is I want you to identify who is the perfect athlete that you want to train within your program. How old are they? Where do they go to school? What part of town do they live in? What are their parents like? and go very deep into the ideal customer. This way you know exactly who you want to serve. And I know for me personally, at the beginning when I started my business, I was training way too many different types of kids. There were some kids that were like four years old. There were some adults that were like in their 20s. And there was no consistency. And I didn't really have a niche. And I think having a niche is going to be the thing that separates you from the average coaches out there. And the more specialized you are within your niche, the easier it is for you to be known as the guru in that space. So I hope these two things helped you out. After you watch this video, if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, we have a daily vlog that goes out Monday through Friday. Go check that out. If you missed the last couple videos, you can go back there and check it out. I'll see you soon.